we've invested significantly in teacher development, professional development, creating uh, professional learning communities as part of an ecosystem uh, for scaling this digital transformation work in Vancouver. Uh, roughly 30% of all expense activity that we charge to our technology levy is about teacher support. In order for it to be effective, it has to be collegial, it has to be ongoing, and it has to be job embedded. We use in our system a one-third, one-third, one-third model for learners in classrooms. So we're simply applying this model for adult learners. For all of our teachers, as we roll out devices and go one-to-one, -one, we have what we call a, a, an iPad Institute. And so in August, before school starts, they get um, professional development and training. And then because we are um, part of the, the buildings as well, um, my role gets to be then to d deliver that training, but then also follow up with teachers. And so that might mean that I'm in a classroom, I'm co-teaching with a teacher, or I'm planning, or they are running by on their planning period and asking me a quick question that turns into a bigger conversation about instructional practice and how to effectively use a, a, an iPad or, or, or a tool to impact instruction then. We um, have had whole staffs together in trainings before, and so they get the energy and they get to share ideas and really kind of look at best practices and how they're going to implement it in their own building level. And then it also might be working with a PLC, so a group of all English teachers as they're planning their next unit and how they're gonna then use devices to assess students and to hit their learning targets. Um, and then it also could be one-on-one -on -one or within a pair of teachers who are in teammates and they're chatting and they're, they're planning and I'm coming alongside to be able to ask questions or, or answer questions that they have. So we realize that it's essential to prepare leaders to be able to lead in a, in a digital classroom and so we have developed a couple of strategies to, to address that. Uh, one of the things that we did was several years ago uh, even before we were deploying iPads in the classroom, uh, we gave all of our uh, district leadership team iPads and training with the expectation and the goal that they could see how that tool could transform the way they work. Um, it's very often that we overlook principals and, and associate principals and not give them the tools that they need and the support. And so that was one of the key pieces. And we, uh, we kind of try to model what we expect teachers to do, and that is to be entrepreneurial in their professional learning. And that means doing research, following blogs. Um, when we have colleagues that uh, within our team that find a new app or a new solution, um, they bring that together at one of our regular meetings or they share it online and uh, they learn together. Um, the key piece and the component of that is collaboration and with both our principals and with our instructional technology facilitators, um, the way that professional learning takes place is because of collaboration because one peer will learn about something great and then they share that with another and then it becomes viral. And you know, we, we, we have done courses and we've done classes, but what really sticks is when one person finds a solution and then shares it with another peer.